So thumbs tucked in, fingers tucked over. And let's sit for a few moments. <clears throat> And one great way to kind of settle anxiety is to be aware of the physical body. So one thing I like to do is either name the points of contact with the floor. So you can try that. Just breathing as you do, naming, say, my right foot is on the floor. My thighs are on the floor. We can open our eyes and slowly maybe look around us and just name things in our vicinity. Moving the eyes slowly from one object to another. For example, I see a yoga block. I see a blanket. Just go around, maybe naming four or five things as you breathe. Now let's give ourselves an I am statement, perhaps of how we want to feel today as we go about our day, such as I am calm, I am peaceful, I am focused, right? Whichever it might be, and just make it an I am. Let it be so. Now let's bring our arms out to the side then up above the head on an inhale. And let's bend that right elbow, that right hand coming behind us, press the left and on that right elbow, you know, opening up the back of that arm, but also maybe the side body as we you know, drop that hand down and be mindful not to make it like a back bend. We're not sending the chest forward and the low back to turn. We're just dropping the hand down and pressing that arm down. And then we'll inhale, bring the arm up. Exhale, sweep it out to the side and then forward. And then we'll inhale, open up. And then bring the arms up overhead again, bend the left elbow, press the left elbow down with that right hand, not a back bend. We're just drawing that hand down. This chin maybe tucks to the chest. Elbow down, left hand down the back. Breathing here. And then exhale, draw the hands to the sky. <sighs> Inhale out to the side. And then exhale, bring them down. Let's sweep the arms up. Exhale out. Inhale back in front. And then exhale, drop the hands. Let's bring the hips over the knees and the shoulders over the wrists, guys. And maybe naming my hands are on the ground. Tops of my feet are touching the floor. Let's inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart. Exhale, chin to the chest, round the spine. Now maybe do this a couple times at your own rate, moving through your cats, moving through your cows, warming up the spine. And the next thing you bring that chin to the chest, pause there, yeah. And then find a neutral spine. Let's walk our hands forward. Drop the heart to the floor. Anahatasana. A gentle puppy pose. Breathing in and out. Pressing the palms on the ground. Maybe the forearms lift. Let the shoulder blades open. Now keep that left hand down. Let's bring the right hand out to the side. See if you can drop that right shoulder closer to the floor. Kind of a gentle stretch on the left side as we open the right arm out. And now bring the right arm forward. Exhale, that left arm comes out to the side. Dropping the left shoulder down. Maybe noticing on the right side of the body. Breathing in and out. 
And now exhale, bring the hands forward. So both hands are forward, lower the elbows down. Let's send our legs nice and long. Drop the belly, drop the hips. Inhale, the heart lifts and shines forward. Uh-huh. Let's exhale, lower down the chest. Maybe that left hand comes like a pillow under the, fore, the forehead. Bring the right knee to a bend. Grab the right foot, the right ankle with the right hand, and then lower the head down. Maybe lift that right thigh off the ground. Just a gentle stretch on that right quad. And feel the belly press into the floor as we breathe. Let's just bring our awareness to our breath here. <sighs> now exhale, gently release the right foot to the ground. The right hand comes back forward. Bring the elbows underneath the shoulders. Let's bring ourselves up into our sphinx again. Inhale, lifting the heart. Maybe pressing the hands into the floor. And then maybe bringing the hands forward, locking out the arms, bending a little bit more of a back bend if that feels good. Heart lifts, drop the shoulders out of the ears, breathe in. Maybe say that I am statement for your day. Inhale again, ladies. On a deep exhale, long exhale, lower those elbows, bring the right hand to the middle, place the forehead on the right. And then lift the left leg, the left foot towards the thigh or towards the glute, and then bring the left hand to the left ankle. And just pull that thigh maybe off the ground as we lift the or hold that foot, a gentle stretch in the front of the leg. Let's breathe in. And then exhale, gently release that left leg down. Bring the arms back forward, elbows underneath the shoulders. Either stay in your sphinx with forearms down, the heart lifts, or lock out the arms for our seal pose. Give yourself that I am statement. And then let's lower down the elbows. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Then press up and back to downward facing dog. And let the head be heavy. Let the back of that body be nice and long. Maybe pedal up the feet. Maybe you draw a knee into the chest and then place that foot back down one at a time. As if you were kind of marching on your mat, knees to chest, knees high. And then maybe straighten those knees. And we'll be here for three breaths. You'll be stating that I am statement three times. Another breath. Now let's glance up at the hands, tiptoe the feet to the front of the mat, drawing the belly in, drawing those toes forward, coming under the fingertips maybe. And now let the head hang, grab opposite elbows with the arms, bend the knees, maybe sway side to side. And then back to the middle with the arms, bring the knees to a bend, let's rise up to stand and exhale, hands come to heart. Let's state our I am statement one time. And we'll let that I am statement guide us through the sun salutation. Sweep the hands down and up, inhale. Exhale, let's fold forward the heart, leading towards the ground and the heart parallel with the thighs. Let's bring our hands on an exhale to the thighs. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, let's step it back to plank pose. Maybe state your I am statement as you ground, noticing points of contact. Exhale, lower the knees, the chest and the chin, or maybe just like down to Chaturanga. Then inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step our right foot forward. Place the hand on the inside of that right foot. Lift the right hand to sky, breathe in. Mm -hmm. Exhale. Exhale, sweep the hand down. Let's step the left foot forward, bend the knees, rise up into chair, drop the hips, breathe in. Good. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, step it back to plank pose. And now exhale back to downward facing dog. Inhale, draw that left foot forward between the hands, the right hand plants. All oh, that right foot strong on the ground with the left hand to sky. Maybe state that I am statement. 
And then exhale, sweep that hand down. Step the left foot back, pause in our plank pose. And then lower down through your chaturanga or maybe your cobra pose. And then back to downward facing it all. Exhale. Good, breathe in. Exhale, lower down the knees, bring the hands underneath the shoulders, I mean, a tabletop. Drop the belly, lift the heart, cow. Exhale, round the spine, cat. And then we'll exhale back to a flat back, bring that left hand down underneath the heart. Let's use the right arm, just side up, pause with that right arm lifted. And then exhale, slide that arm underneath the chest. Bring the left hand forward, or maybe you bring the left hand behind you, but find your, your expression of your thread the needle. Maybe press the back of that right arm into the floor and kind of as if you're pulling, keep the right hand pressed down, that right arm pressed down, but imagine you were trying to pull it back through to the right. You might notice a little stretch across the shoulder more. So you're pressing the arm down, but you're energetically kind of pulling it towards the right side of the mat. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's breathe in. And then we'll exhale. Maybe bring that right hand back underneath the shoulder, or maybe you'd like to bring it up to the sky. When we get to tabletop, let's drop the belly with the heart. Exhale around the spine, cat. Back to neutral spine, breathe in. Exhale, that right hand under the heart, the left hand can sweep up to sky, maybe just to the hip, and then slide that underneath the heart. The left shoulder maybe coming down, or just the left elbow and the left forearm. The right hand, wherever is comfortable for you to feel stable. And dropping that left shoulder towards the ground, press the back of that left hand, the left arm into the floor, and as if you were pulling that left elbow, that left shoulder, and hand towards the left side, but it's not going anywhere. It's like stuck like glue, but you're trying to move it. Feel that expansion from the spine and the shoulder blade and then across the shoulder. Let's breathe in. And then exhale, bring that left hand back up to sky. And then hands underneath the shoulders, plant those hands. Let's step our knees back or our feet back into plank pose. And then we'll lower down the knees again, the chest and the chin. Then inhale, lift the heart and the chest. Exhale, press up to cobra. And then curl the toes under. Exhale, downward facing dog. Uh-huh. Breathe in. Let's exhale, step both feet forward between the hands. Let's drop our hips again, lift the arms up to sky. Ooh, to katasana. Mm-hmm. And then give ourselves an I am statement to bring that space with our truth. Another breath in. On our exhale, let's open our arms out like a T. Keep those hips dropped, knees bent. And now on your next exhale, go over to the right, twisting. Keep the knees side by side. Let's breathe in. Uh huh. Another breath in. And now let's exhale, straighten the legs, but send that left hand down, going into a forward fold twist. Right arm to sky, left hand down. Uh huh. And then exhale, bring both hands underneath the heart. So now the heart's parallel with the floor. Let's bend the knees, plant the right foot, step the left foot back, and let's rise up into a crescent lunge. Exhale. Inhale, float the hands high to the sky. And then exhale, bring hands to the heart. And we'll fold over that leg, heart in line with the chest parallel, or heart in line parallel with the thigh. Breathe in. And now exhale, sweep the hands up in front. So they're on either side of the ear. And now let's bring their right arm under, the left arm on top. Find your eagle arms in this fold. So we're bringing our eagle arms into this space after we're folded. Let's breathe in. And now exhale. Bring the weight into that right foot. Step up onto the right foot. The left foot lifts. And let's draw that left leg over the right. And then maybe bow into your eagle for a breath. And then bring those arms open. And now bring the arms back. The left arm under, right arm on top. Back to eagle arms. Rising up into Guadudas. 
Give yourself that I am statement and breathe in. On an exhale, unravel the legs and sit down in our chair with eagle arms, with Tukitasana. Inhale, rise. Let go of the arms, fold it forward, exhale. Breathe in. On your exhale, sit back in your chair, arms come on either side of the head. Mm -hmm. Exhale, bring arms out to the side. Give yourself a breath. Exhale, twist towards the left. Gentle twist towards the left, breathe in. And now exhale, straighten the legs, dip that right hand down to the ground, left arm reaching the sky. So it's our forward full twist, breathe in. Exhale, bring the left hand down underneath the heart. Let's bring our forehead parallel with the knees, maybe sway the head back and forth. Now plant the left foot, step the right foot back, and we'll rise up into our lunge. Being really aware that we're pressing through the ball of that right foot. The more that you press, the more you may feel it in that right thigh. Bend that left knee. Maybe give yourself a smile. Breathe in. Exhale, bring hands to the hips, or maybe keep them where they are. We'll fold over that left thigh. Breathe in. Exhale. One more breath in. And now draw the hands kind of underneath the heart, the left arm under, the right arm on top. Find eagle arms in your humble warrior. Let's breathe. Exhale, ground the weight in that left foot. Sweep the right foot forward. Bring it through and cross the legs over. Find the eagle legs. And then exhale, bring elbows towards the thighs. Unwrap the arms, spread the wings. And then arms come back in front. Right arm under, left arm on top. Bind the arms and then rise up into your eagle. Thighs squeezing together as much or as little as you want. Nice, guys, really good. Inhale. And then exhale, let's release our arms. Release the legs, coming right into our fold. Let it go. Giving ourselves some focus and some breath. Breathe in. Exhale, maybe bend the knees, bring your feet mat distance apart, drop down to Malasana. Maybe Malasana doesn't feel so great today. Just bring your feet apart and come into a wide-legged forward fold or wider-legged. If you're in Malasana, find your expression of Malasana. Breathing in and out. And in. And out. Mm -hmm. Inhale. And now let's exhale, bring hands towards the ground in front of us, and then we'll sweep them behind us. Kind of walk the hands back, walk the hips back. And then with the feet on the floor and knees bent, you can kind of straighten that left leg a little just to bring that right ankle on top of the left thigh. And then bring that left foot as close as you want. And then keep those hands either pointing back or out to the side. Bring your heart as close to that right leg as you want. Coming into an expression in figure four. So this has all the benefits of our pigeon. So maybe you want to come into pigeon, and you can. And I think both of you know how to do that. Just bring that right knee down, the left knee to the ground. Unless you want to stay in figure four. We're going to rest here. Refining that I am statement and stating it to yourself. You give it to yourself three times. And then when you're ready, Coming out of your pigeon, whichever way that you're in, if you're on your back, if you're on your stomach, you can bring both feet to the floor, or if you were in on your stomach, come to downward facing dog. Let's bring our legs nice and long, if we were in figure four, and just drop the feet side to side. And then we'll bring that right knee down, or right foot down, then the left ankle on top of that right thigh. Bring that foot as close as you want towards the glute. Come onto your back if you want. 
just letting your body inform you as to where you're gonna go with this. And now here, let's visualize that mantra flowing through our being. That I am statement. That our feet can ground in that, our knees can move forward with it. Our hips can stabilize in that I am statement. Let it fill our heart with courage. Let it be the undercurrent of everything we speak today. Another breath in. And we'll exhale to gently come out of whatever variation that you're in. Let's bring both feet to the floor, the knees or to the sky. And this time we'll plant the feet on the floor and just drop the knees side to side instead of the feet rocking back and forth. Bringing some steadiness to this movement. And now let's plant the feet, bring the hands or get the hands towards the hips, the shoulders come over the hips, the left foot comes forward. Let's bring either the right foot to the inside of the thigh, drop the right knee out to the side. Or maybe if it feels okay, you bring that right knee to stack on top of the left knee, and that right foot is kind of towards the left thigh. That might be tricky, that might be easier. This might be trickier, so find wherever you want to have that knee. We're opening up the back of the leg here, so it's the same idea. When you're ready, just kind of fold over your legs. Maybe you feel it in the back, relax the shoulders, relax the back of the left leg. Give yourself that steady breath. Reminding yourself that you can always come back to your breath throughout your day. It's with us all the time. Give ourselves one more breath in. And then exhale, lift the heart with the chest. Wherever that right foot is, let's bring it to the floor. So whether it's on that side of that left leg or on the inside of that left leg, come into a gentle seated twist. So the hands come onto the, sh the shin below the knee. Let's press the hands into the shin to bring the heart towards the knee. And then inhale, reach the arm up to sky, feeling the spine nice and long. And then exhale, give that spine a little movement as you bring the hand back, the heart shining towards the direction of that right hip. Maybe our gaze is towards our right hand or that left toe. Let's breathe in and out. And then we'll exhale, bring that hand back forward. And then maybe we just lean the heart towards that left leg for just a moment, towards the right thigh, just kind of going forward. And then bring the shoulders back a little bit. Send the right leg forward. Now both legs are long. Maybe you sway the feet side to side. Maybe you plant the feet and bring the knees side to side. Shaking out the hips a little. Nice, good. And we'll exhale, bring the right leg long. Ground the stitch bones. And now either that right or left foot is on the inside of the right thigh or the left knee is stacked on top of the right knee. Not, neither one is better. Neither one is worse. Find what works for you. And when you're ready, bring the arms to sky. Shimmy out to the sits bones and then fold over towards the right knee, which might also be your left knee or might be your left foot. Tuck the chin to the chest if that feels good or keep the head lifted as if the neck were an extension of the spine, a little string from your tailbone out the crown of your head straight like an uncooked piece of spaghetti. Now let's breathe in. Exhale, lift the chest over the hips. Bring that left foot to the ground, maybe on the outside of the right leg or the inside. Hands press into the thigh, heart presses toward the knee, breathe in. 
and bring that left arm to sky on an in breath. And then exhale, shine the heart in the same direction as that hip, left arm back. Dropping into the breath, into the body. And then exhale, bring the left hand forward. Send the left leg long. You can sway this feet side to side or maybe the knees. And then when you're ready, let's drop onto our back. Come onto our back, maybe not drop on. Come onto the back. Let's find our Shavasana. Oh, maybe that Shavasana includes a reclined butterfly to start. Whatever you need. Letting go of any thoughts or any statements and just letting the energy that we kind of stirred up, let, let us marinate in that right now. No rush right now. Now, as you're ready, you can roll to one side. Give yourself a pause. And maybe another. And then come to your seat. Yes, bring hands to heart. Maybe say your I am statement out loud. And we'll exhale, inhale, exhale. Oh, shanti, shanti, shanti. Oh, Mm-hmm.